Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. You know, having a good fish scale is important if you're a fisherman. Now, this is what I had for over 10 years. This is the best I've ever bought. Okay, um, as you notice, it does look the part. It's over 10 years old. And what makes this good is that it's, it's brass here. What's bad about it is it has a wooden handle. Because it has a wooden handle, after five of those 10 years, it's separated. But, you know, you can always glue it back in. It'll still last a little bit longer. So, how do I replace this? This is good. And the reason why it's good is because the rakes over here will rake the scales off. And this little catcher, plastic plate, will catch it. Now, if you were to buy this brand new off of Amazon or eBay, they're going between $20 and $60 each. Comes from Japan. But all the ones you see on Amazon and eBay does not have this little plastic skirt, unfortunately. This is what it looks like brand new. Okay, now if this was the way I wanted to do it, the whole thing would be one piece. Instead of wood, it would be all brass or all steel. That way it'll last forever. I've seen something like that in Japan, but they wanted like $328. Now this is good. This is about the best you're gonna get. What makes this so good? It's no sharp pieces, nothing to cut yourself on. And like I said, if you're, if you bring your fish home in the inside of the house, because of this uh, plastic cup here, all the scales will be caught in here. It won't go flying all over the place, making the missus really pissed off at you. I just looked online. I mean, you can get this here without the plastic uh, protector on eBay, on Amazon, but it's gonna cost you between $20 and $60. It, you just look at it, it says, fish scaler brass from Japan. Now this is what you're gonna get. My other one here, see that? These are, these are good. I mean, I can still use this, but even this used one here, I would just take this, the plastic here is on little clips. I would take the plastic off and just get another one of these and put it on. But you know what? I don't have to do that because I found two places here in Hawaii that sells this, so I'm all set. I just want to point out these are the best for cleaning fish on location or in the house. Thank you. Okay, earlier this morning, I caught this fish. It's a veki. Um, it's a Hawaiian goat fish. We call this the nightmare veki because some people reported that if you eat the head, you'll get nightmares. So uh, I have no idea if this is true or not. But, you know, it, I don't eat the head, so I like it. It's good pan fried. So this is how you quickly clean it. See, this is a freshwater river here that's next to the place I was fishing. So I, it's a good place to clean my fish because it is fresh water. I use a scaler first. See, the scaler has a protective area here so the scales don't come flying back at you. See that? The scales do not come flying back at you, which is kind of a nice thing. And scales have a tendency to fly around the house when you're trying to clean it there, so you don't want to scale your fish at home. See? Look at that. Get it all out. Aloha guys, got lucky, got a uh, papil. Papil is known as a trevally in Hawaii that is under 10 pounds, okay? How do we clean it? All right, this is a scaler. I kind of like to do my stuff out in the field, especially when it comes to scales, because you try to do this at home, the girlfriend slash wife will be pissed, because you're gonna have scales that are flying. See, when it's wet, Scales don't fly, but when it's dry, oh, trust me, it's gonna go flying. Okay. This scaler is not bad. It's a Japan style scaler, but it has this area to catch all the scales at. Now, normally I give away my fish, 
I just thought, hey, it'd be nice if I just showed how to do this part of it, all right? Okay, so here we go. 